Hello everyone, and welcome to this video. Today, we're going to explore the top 5 ESP32 projects for beginners. If you are just starting with ESP32, these projects are perfect to help you understand how to control devices, read sensors, and build simplified applications using a web server. Let's get started. First, let's talk a little bit about how this device works. S32 will connect to the Wi-Fi router and be given an IP address. On your browser, access the address of ESP32. You will see a simple web server interface with two buttons. Click on that button, an event will be sent to S32, and ESP32 will control the corresponding GPIO. At the same time, send a signal to your browser. The program will be divided into two parts. The first part is the web server including HTML, CSS and JavaScript files saved in the memory of ESP32. The second part is the program on ESP32. Project 1, Control Relay through a web server. In this project, we will use the ESP32 to host a simple web server that allows us to control a relay with just a click on a web page. A relay acts like an electronic switch. By connecting it to the ESP32, you can turn appliances like lights, fans, or other low-voltage devices on and off from your phone or computer. The concept is simple but powerful. You open a web browser, access the SP32's IP address, and instantly control the relay. Project 2 Control WS281 to LEDs through a web server. The second project is all about colorful lights. Here, we connect a strip of WS281 to our NeoPixel LEDs to the SP32. With a web interface, you can select colors, brightness, or even lighting effects. This project teaches you how to work with PWM signals and LED libraries while still using the SP32 web server to create an interactive user interface. Not only is this fun, but it also helps beginners understand how to control peripherals that use special timing and communication protocols. You'll be able to build your own customizable LED controller. I will reset the SP32 so we can see the startup lock. As you see, after connect Wi-Fi, Ask 3 to print out the IP address. Fill this IP address on the browser. We can access to web server. Try and click on the color. We can see it send the color code into ESP32. And our GB LED displays the correct color selected. Let's test with other color. Project 3 Read Temperature and Humidity Using DHT11. Our third project introduces sensors. We'll connect a DHT11 sensor to the SP32 and read temperature and humidity values. These readings are then displayed on a web page hosted directly by the SP32. The DHT11 is a simple digital sensor used to measure temperature and humidity. It provides calibrated output, making it very beginner friendly. The sensor can measure temperatures from 0 to 50 degrees Celsius and humidity levels between 20 and 90%. It communicates with microcontrollers like the SP32 using a single data pin. This makes it easy to connect and perfect for basic IoT projects. This project demonstrates how to handle sensor inputs, process the data, and make it accessible remotely. Project for a measure distance with the HCSRO for ultrasonic sensor. In this project, we will explore the HCSRO for ultrasonic distance sensor, a very popular component for measuring distances. The HCS Aeroflow works by sending out an ultrasonic pulse, which travels through the air until it hits an object. When the sound wave bounces back, the sensor detects the echo signal. By measuring this time, we can calculate distance. DSP 3D2 uses the formula. Distance equals the speed of sound multiplied by the travel time, divided by 2. This is because the signal makes a round trip of going to the object and then returning to the sensor. By setting up a simple web server, you can display the measured distance in real time on your browser. Project 5, control a servo motor through a web server. Finally, in our fifth project, we will spend some time learning about servo motors and how to control them in practice. A servo motor is a special type of motor that can rotate to a precise angle, which makes it very useful for projects such as robotic arms, door locks, or even automatic curtains. In this project, the ESP32 will host a simple web interface where you can move a slider directly on the web page to set the desired angle of the servo. Once you adjust the slider, 
the ESP32 instantly generates the correct PWM signals, ensuring the servo motor moves smoothly and accurately to the chosen position.